Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together and in this video, I will be telling you 3 reasons why your CGPA becomes important in your engineering in 2023. Yes guys, you heard it right, this topic is really interesting and I am pretty sure that if you watch this video till the end, I will be clearing all your misconceptions and your doubts related to CGPA guys. Let me tell you that I will also be uploading a video in which I will be discussing how did I manage to get a CGPA above 9.5 in my first year which recently got concluded. So for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribe to my channel then make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video I upload in the coming future. With that note, let's start this video. If you are someone who is currently pursuing your engineering just like me and uh, thinking of cracking gate exam after your graduation then I think this is the best time for us to start our gate preparation cause Physics Wala has come up with a huge offer uh, starting from October 12th to October 17th on all its courses related to GATE 2024, 2025 and 2026. So all these courses come with the live lectures from the best faculties present in India along with regular tests. I have given the links for all these batches separately in the description so that you can just click that to get more information on each and every batch guys. I personally feel these batches would definitely prove to be an asset in making your preparation the best for your respective gate exam. And what's more exciting is the fact that you can use my code which is being displayed over the screen to get additional rupees 500 off on enrolling to any batch when it comes to your gate preparation. Since this is a limited time period offer which ranges from October 12th to October 17th. So what are you waiting for? Get ready to enroll to your favorite batch at PW and take your gate preparation to the next level. All the GATE 2025 and ESC 2025 aspirants now have a golden opportunity of availing up to 100% scholarship on all the classroom courses for GATE 2025 and ESC 2025 with PW's NSAT examination guys. This test will be conducted on 15th October and 22nd October and the test syllabus will comprise of engineering mathematics, reasoning and aptitude skills and English skills. So uh, to know more about this test and the result date and many things like that I have given the link in the description so please check it out now itself guys. We all know the importance of solving PYQs to crack an examination like GATE. If you are someone who is serious about your GATE preparation, then I personally feel that you should uh, consider studying through PW GATE Wala's topic wise PYQ books cause I have been using this book for my preparation for some time now and it has boosted my confidence like anything. The topic wise PYQs from past 16 years ranging from 2008 to 2023 GATE exam has helped me get that confidence of solving uh, questions which has been asked in GATE now itself in my preparation phase and the embedded QR codes which are there with each and every question which will take you to a video solution of that particular question so that has again uh, proven to be an asset in my preparation guys. This is uh, curated especially for GATE aspirants. The explanations for all the questions are really good and trust me this book will definitely make your GATE preparation journey more exciting and more smoother guys. And to know more about these books you can just click the link which I have given in the description again. The first and the foremost reason is your on-campus placements. Yes guys, I'm telling this based on the placement scenario which is happening in our college. Whenever a company comes to our college, it will be setting a benchmark CGPA below which students won't be able to even apply for certain companies. Yes guys, you will be missing out on great opportunities if your CGPA is below that particular benchmark. So I would like to suggest you to maintain a decent CGPA from your first year. That doesn't mean you should have a very good CGPA and all but still having a decent CGPA from your first year will help you grab these opportunities and secure a golden future. And talking about the second reason, many of you who are watching this video will be uh, thinking of going into higher studies once you complete your engineering. That may be in terms of MS or in terms of MTech. So if you are someone who is aiming for this particular thing, then many universities will be offering you scholarship or will be offering you financial aid which will help you sail through your process of post graduation. And for that, your CGPA becomes an indicator of how well versed you are with the concepts of engineering which you have learnt in your uh, all four years of undergraduation guys. So this is where your CGPA comes into play and again uh, universities will be considering your CGPA as a major criteria when it comes to uh, shortlisting you for their post graduation program in uh, several branches. So this is the second reason why you should be having a decent CGPA from your first year so that you will be able to sail through your higher studies too. The third and the last reason is but obvious guys. 
uh, when we were in school or when we were in college for our first PU and second PU, we used to be assessed or our academic indicator would be our marks cards which we used to get once the exams get completed in the same line your cgpa will be a great indicator on how well versed you are with the curriculum which you followed in your four years of engineering again as i told you earlier uh, it's not that you should be having a very good cgpa or uh, it must be above 9.5 and all but still you should be the one who should be setting that benchmark according to your skills according to your abilities you should be the one who should be setting it and uh, if you ask me i would always tell the bar should be raised higher and for that reason as i told you in the introduction part of the video i'll be coming up with videos on how to increase your cgpa or how to maintain a decent cgpa uh, in your four years of engineering guys and this marks the end of this exciting video guys i was uh, really happy to share all this information with you throughout this video so if you did the same then make sure that you hit the like button because it gives me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future and if you are someone who is having any doubt uh, further regarding cgpa or regarding your engineering life then make sure that you put it in the comment section so that i'll be able to answer your comments over there and to never miss out on more exciting videos about the engineering journey then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the notification button to get notified as soon as i upload any kind of new video with that note this is darshan s goda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye